accessing the accommodations that a student needs is critical to their success. I have seen in my own classes that sometimes students will come in their first their first year, particularly particularly in our program, and they'll they'll say, "Well, I had an IEP in high school. I'm going to try it without the support of Disability Services this first this first go round this first year," and they'll get halfway through the first semester or get close to finals and then realize, oh my gosh, I waited too long, I'm not doing well in my classes, I should have gone to disability services sooner to get their support. People who use accommodations from the very beginning are set up to succeed as well as feel a little bit more empowered and more confident about kind of embracing their disability and embracing who they are. I think using disability services from the very beginning of my start at BGSU was one of the most important things I did because it helped me build the confidence and trust that I needed in the service to keep going with my schooling and I wouldn't have made it through three years if it wasn't for the disability services. I'm legally blind so one of the things that I have the hardest time with is actually getting access to books and re written material and one of the things that really got me excited is that disability services if the book isn't available from a traditional um, audio recording service or something like that, they'll actually scan it in for you. Well, I certainly have some empathy for students because I also at one point was an undergraduate um, going away from home for the first time. And I know what it's like to step out on your own, get away from your parents for the first time, spread your wings a little bit, and then have to sort of start being more of an advocate for myself. I, I had to go through that process as well. As adults, the student makes each decision. Um, it's not like they're part of a program now where they, they're told what to do. The students must advocate for themselves. Taking advantage of display services has allowed me to excel. I notice when I don't take advantage of it, my grades will decrease. Instead of getting A's on tests, I'll get C's. In the classroom, sometimes you have a student who is disabled and is in a wheelchair. The student may actually need help getting into the classroom and actually getting him or herself positioned. My advisor is Leanne Kessler. She helps me like with anything I need. Sometimes when I need a, a certain desk in the classroom, I call her up and say, Leanne, I need a desk and she do it right away. Just because you use disability services doesn't mean that you're not intelligent, doesn't mean you're slow or anything like that. It just means that you need a little bit more help to level the playing field with everyone else. So going in with the aspect of I'm going to do this all on my own, by myself, I don't need any help, I want to show them that I'm capable of this, is really just putting yourself at a disadvantage. If you can get more help, why not take it? and it's offered to you. We work with a wide range of disabilities, a very broad spectrum, from sensory disabilities, psychiatric disabilities, learning disabilities, autism spectrum, health impairments. I've had students who use braille machines in class. I've had students who disability services set up with FM systems. So I would wear a microphone and the student would wear an amplifier. The Curriculum Resource Center, thank you. Jeannie Novak, I had her for one of my courses and she was really good about getting me materials and asking me, hey, how can I help you with this? I had a gal who had uh, just motor reflex problems, and so she couldn't really write on the test in the period of time that I had allotted. All of her exams were taken at disability services, and uh, as a result, she did very, very well in the class. She was uh, one, of, one of the top students in the class. Every faculty member I've come across has been very understanding. Um, I've gotten no resistance from any faculty member with having dyslexia or even using disability services. They've been very helpful and cooperative. I enjoy working with students who are very clear that they want to get the most out of their time here and that they want to do the absolute best they can do. At first I was apprehensive. At that point you really have a choice of what type of environment you want it to be. If you're gonna live in that kind of fear of hiding it constantly or if you're gonna face it and deal with it and try to do what's best for you. I've worked well with most of the faculty here. Members of the jury. As far as my mock trial coach who I work with a lot, we spend a lot of time thinking about and talking about how my vision affects my presentation. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Being comfortable talking in front of a crowd. So whether or not I go into litigation, I've definitely gained excellent public speaking experience. One of my favorite professors here, she helped me with calculus and she spent time out of class, out of office hours to help me. We went to a coffee shop and she met with me specifically and we did 
straight math for six hours until I got it and ended up doing extremely well in that class. Providing accommodations and working with disability services does not provide a hardship as to the faculty. I appreciate the assistance that, that I get from the staff at Disability Services and I want my students to succeed as do the other faculty here. Knowing that if I have a problem I can go and talk to Disability Services and get them to give me ideas on how to go about fixing the problem or dealing with it is really helpful. This is typically done with confidentiality. No one else in the class needs to know that the student's getting an accommodation like a peer note taker, um, like extended testing time, uh, like a distraction free environment. I have never received a personal negative thing from any student at this university or anyone outside of this university for having a learning disability. Nowhere on any sort of transcripts or anything, any record is it that the student, uh, is it documented that the student has a disability? It's all about self-identification. I would definitely recommend using disability services. You're in college now, no one's going to do it for you, you have to do it yourself. Basically what we're going to need from you um, are a couple different forms filled out. The request for accommodations form, which needs to be filled out by you, and a disability ver verification form, which needs to be filled out by a medical professional. And those forms can be found on the BGSE website in the disability services section of the website. Using Disability Services has allowed me to get such a high GPA. I would definitely recommend Disability Services. They're there to help. The Disability Services has definitely helped me succeed as a student. But when something's there for you and not using it, to me, in my mind, it's kind of going to waste. And I want to make sure I get a good, good enough GPA to get into med school. You need to do everything you can do for yourself to succeed. You don't wait until you've had a bad academic semester. If you see that something could help you, you go and you, and you get that assistance. Don't wait.